good. It you went good. good. Mm-hmm. Turn that upside down. Some coochie boochie. I'm going to drink coochie boochie. For That's, those of you who don't know. Your mom has great coochie boochie. She really does. For someone her age. Let's it ferment. It does. For it's it's usually better in the elderly. But I've often found that it can also be an acquired taste in some elderly mammals other than human. This happens to be donkey coochie boochie. Ooh, coochie boochie. It has a little bit of a pungentness to it. It's an acquired taste. Does it taste like ass? Yep, in more ways than one. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corvin. Where improv lives. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us to subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Hey, Patreon. Button. And smack it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Today, uh, Brahma Hastra uh, did a different another video. This is more, more of like uh, the director explaining more the, stuff again. More stuff so of the inspiration. Inspirations. Um, so it's not it's not like a trailer or anything. You right. Know, I, I still anticipate we're going to get another trailer. Of course. I, I'll be shocked. I it just it it would be where what two three weeks out yeah something like that something like that oh and can I just quickly mention in case it happens because I wasn't gonna bet him again so we're 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 at the theaters watching uh, lol and there's a trailer for a new um, Kath um, Catherine Hepburn you know who I'm talking about her 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 trailer uh, um, <sighs> might as well be Catherine Hepburn. That you said, just give her the Oscar based on the trailer? Oh, yeah. Um, who was it? Uh, 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 um, Kate, Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. One of the so greatest actresses living. All time. So we saw this trailer for a new film of hers we didn't know was coming out. And the minute the trailer ended, he said, just give her her Oscar right now. So it was said here first by Corbin. I'm not betting him because I've lost a bet just like that before for $100. <laughs> Kate Blanchett is, I don't know if she will because I don't know anything about the film. It's usually a safe bet. It's like yeah. it's like it's I, almost Meryl Streep it's, level it's, in terms of just let her go to the Oscars. It, she's gonna she's gonna get it. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Anyway. Okay, this is the Brahmahastra inspirations. We are obviously very very excited for this film. Can't wait to watch it. Hopefully, yep. we get it in IMAX. Yes. They say we should, but I still have my doubts. We'll see. Um, I really hope we get to see it in IMAX because this is one that just like you just. Uh, and I can't wait for the boycotts to start for it as well. I you know, know me too. I'm I always, so excited. I always look forward to the the next Bollywood film for them to boycott. Me too. And it's usually every single it's one. It's just become the norm now. It's like in addition to whenever this should go from theaters to OTT, how many countries you should do for distribution. If it were me and it was my film, I would tell my publicity, get on the boycott thing right now. The uh, Make some shirts. I made a tweet that said, I'm just going to predict what the next boycotts and why they're going to boycott these films. Steve. And so I said, Anurag's film. Yeah. Anurag is too smart for them. Yeah. Uh, Brahmahastra, the colors hurt their sentiments. Yeah. Vikram Veda, Rithik is too hot, makes me feel funny. Yeah. <laughs> SRK's Pothan, nipples are too yummy. Yeah. And sentiments. Uh, that's, that, that's probably very true. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's how we feel about your stupid boycotts. Yep. Anyways. Uh, they are, they're dumb. Yeah, they are. They make their in every way, shape, and form. They're dumb. If you if this is like news to you, then I don't know why you're here. Yeah, it's this is not something that's like coming out of the blue. <laughs> no, and and I heard this too as well from the director and creator of the Kashmir Files, because Anya Rog was saying he hoped RRR was yeah, the nominee. Not. Yeah, so it's like no, sorry. I personally also don't think Kashmir Files should be the submission, and I'm not a genocide denier. So. <laughs> There you go. But you'll get you'll 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 right now you'll be claimed as one. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Light us roshni ka naam hai jo hum sabke andheron se badi hai. Ek shakti hai jo is zindagi mein jaan bhar deti hai. Aur kahan dhoondti hu ye light tum? Threads with which Brahmastra is woven ran very deep in me. Mm. As a child, I grew up loving stories from Indian history. My father used to tell me a lot about our powerful gods and goddesses, and I was deeply affected by them. Mm. Shiv Bhagwan and Vishnu Bhagwan, Ganpati Ji and Hanuman Ji, Ma Durga and Ma Kali. Oh. A certain spiritual depth and even science in Indian philosophy very naturally infuses the lives of most people growing up in India. As a teenager, I became a big reader 
and like many others from my generation <laughs> i was very excited by certain fantasy series from the western world lord of the rings and harry potter are among my all time <laughs> favorites we're with you as a young filmmaker i was enjoying greatly but also observing closely how hollywood was regularly using technology to bring their storytelling alive as blockbuster cinema and so as i started to create brahmastra all this inspiration that was pent up within me came bubbling up and i realized that the movie i was creating in my imagination had colors of everything i had absorbed but somehow they had all mixed together in a way to create a new a very original color and even today as we've almost finished making the movie this same fact Hear that? makes me feel very proud almost finished that brahmastra <laughs> is a very original film oh, yeah. I think that I think that last line was the key to this video and probably why they wanted to put it out. It's the fact that he said this is a very original movie. Yeah. Because of obviously what's going on in 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 Bollywood right now and how everybody's basically rejecting every single remake, almost every film, honestly. Yeah. Um but I think that's like this is this is an original story. <laughs> Please go see yeah. this. Movie. Please go see it. It's original. <laughs> I've been thinking about it before there were ever any hashtag, hashtag boycott, um, and before there was ever, yeah. And, I, uh, I don't know why anyone would boycott this film. Anyways, but it's. Uh, I'm. I'm so hoping this film lives up to being India's flagship for like big, massive superhero style films. Yeah. I, it, I, obviously, we're, expectations not, are high. I'm not expecting like. Like um, Oscar-worthy stuff in uh, well, in visual effects, maybe, but like in terms of like a film that I'm like, oh, th th send this to the Oscars, unless no, no, it's that, unless it's that good, of it, course. It could be, yeah. I'm not expecting. I'm expecting to have a really good time and to be a really good epic. Yeah, I'm expecting yeah. what I expect from any film that is is going to be, you know, not farcical in some way, but even in a farcical one, I'm expecting above all a great story. Mm -hmm. And then I'm expecting great performances with great technology mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form. And that this is going to, as far as the bar, I mean, he, it has repeatedly in its own ads pointed to the inspiration of the Marvel Universe and Avatar. So, And the trailer was so good that my bar is expectations really high on all of the above. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm expecting great story, great acting, great cinematography, and I'm, I'm expecting Marvel level CGI. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's what you obviously hope you're, we're going to get. Yeah. Um, and once again, I so hope we get it in IMAX. I would be, me too. I'd be very disappointed if we got to, what is it? September 9th or whenever this comes out. Oh yeah. September 9th. Yeah. September 9th. And, we we don't have the tickets. We are obviously we're gonna be able to get tickets. At Disney. Yeah, we'll Disney, be able to see it. Uh, is obviously distributing this like a normal thing, which is great. Which is gives me hope that we're gonna get an IMAX because KGF, I believe we got IMAX. Correct. I believe that's correct. Which is why we got to go to a closer theater. Yes. Which is which was great. Um, not not the film, but like <laughs> the fact that we got to see it in IMAX was good. Um, but yeah, the uh, the rest of the story, I'm 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 so hoping. This becomes like something that not just Indians go see. Absolutely, like, it's so good that the word of mouth is like yeah. in Hollywood. It's like, have you have you, you seen saw this? RRR, right, right? Just like with R R R. Right, go see Brahmastra. And I, I'm I'm doing that not just because of obviously our 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 love and concern for and and rooting for Indian cinema, but the fact that this has been this man's passion project and been foamating in him since he was a young man, little mm. boy, you know. Uh, uh, the weight of the world must be on his shoulders, and I don't know that he's going to sleep well the night before it opens because he's going to so want this. And I really hope that it becomes what he envisioned, mm -hmm. you know, because so many times what you envisioned isn't exactly 
what you get in the final product. That's a very tricky transition to get to. Um, so I, I, I'm looking in forward all ways, shape, or form. I, I hope this does well at every I'm level. Looking for the Alia's what fourth film of the year? Mm, yeah, fourth. Yeah, fourth. It's Darlings, the Gungabai RRR. Technically, she's in, uh, in yep. that. Yep. And then this one. So it's been the year of Ali Abat. Yeah. Uh, for for this one and Ranbir, this will be his his second one. And um, who oh boy, I'm not. I don't think I'm nervous. I'm just. I'm more nervous for them as opposed to right nervous that because I I think I think it'll be good. I do too. And if it's not, that'd I'll be, be disappointed. That'd be so disappointing. I'll be disappointed, but I'll be. I am more. Um, like when after we left Lal, Lal yeah. I said to Indrani, I said I would really like to know, and this is germane to what we were just talking about in regard to our personal investment in these artists in this film. I'd really like to know what somebody who has never seen an Indian film, who does not know who Amir Khan or Karina Kapoor are, would think of this film if they saw it, because so much of what I liked about it was already because I have a love for Amir Khan. I already have a deep admiration and respect for Karina Kapoor and yeah. know who she is and am so aware of Indian culture for the past three years. Yeah. That helped. Yeah, for and sure. I'd really love to know because I imagine it's because it's just it's a good movie. People are going to like it the same way. How many people don't know a thing about Indian cinema and saw RRR and we're like, oh, crap, they had their OSR moment per se where they're like, damn, India's doing that. And I hope this does it for them I as well. I hope so, man. I so hope so. I'm so rooting for this film um, because one, it's doing something original. Yep. And something that's never been done in India. And in inherently Indian. Indian. And like the fact that it's from the Hindu uh, lore, yeah. like, whatever you it's, call it's, it. Uh, I, I just don't know how, I don't know why you would put your own prejudicial agenda about anti-Bollywoodism and boycott whatever ahead of wanting to see artistry advanced, especially the artistry of your own culture. Mm -hmm. Don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either, man. We root for every film to be good. It must be a really yeah. sad life to like wake up and root for films to be bad. It must be like a really sad life. It's, it's, it's about <laughs> it's as be sad, sad as being somebody who has nothing better to do with their time but be a troll on the internet. It's, it's gotta, pretty comparable. It's got to be sad, man. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know if you're excited for this film uh, down below. Josh!